Good morning. It is our last full day in Granada. We overslept a little bit. We woke up at like 11, but we're on holiday, so we're allowed to. Right now we're going to get some churros from a place recommended by Andres' friend, Jeff. No. No? <laughs> My family recommended. Oh, recommended by Andres' family. And then today we're going to the, the mountains. No, we'll see where we're going. I think we're going to La Albaicín. Good, but very unhealthy. So now uh, we're waiting for my cousin to come and join us, and then we're gonna go up to El Albaicín, which is the neighborhood next to um, the Alhambra. It's it's like a hill, so that's where my grandmother used to uh, was raised, and has a really good view of the Alhambra. So there's good pictures, and it's uh, it's a very nice neighborhood. My cousin told me that my great grandfather used to live here, and my grandmother was born here. We don't know which house it was. Was it this one or that one? But we know it's in this vicinity, so it's pretty cool. Correction: We don't think my grandmother was born here. I'll ask her later, but she definitely lived here, and my great grandfather lived here. So, just important, important fact. So we just got to the to the Plaza San Nicolas, but this is the actual La Mesquita, which is right next. We're to in a mosque. mosque. It's really beautiful, and we have this most incredible view. But it's a shame you can't really see it because of the light. Um, hopefully, some magic editing will help show it. Turn around. No, no, but show. I've already filmed behind. There it is. Ta -da. Ta -da. It's really beautiful here, but one thing I will say is that we definitely chose the wrong time to come. It's probably better to come super early in the morning before anyone comes in and when the light's better. Going to the mosque is a good insider tip though because there aren't as many people there as in the plaza. Although you might get better pictures at the plaza if it's empty and the light's good. As you can see from uh, this Plaza San Nicolas, my grandmother lived in that house over there. And when she was very little, she would climb up on top of this aljibe, which is an, a water tank. So I'm gonna do that now. And I always come here and I always do the same thing. So let's see if I can take a picture on top of that, just like my grandmother did when she was very little. This is a restaurant with a great view, but apparently um, these people lived in Venezuela and they were friends with my great-grandfather and my grandmother. So we just said hi to the owner that, uh, that remembers my grandmother and we, I showed her pictures and I took a picture with her so I can show my grandmother. So I, I'm, I'm sure my grandma would like that very much. What are we doing now? We're yeah. going down to, to, to meet my cousin's daughter, daughter and then we're going to have a, a, a caña, una cervecita, beer. And then um, we will uh, we'll go to eat. These roads are super windy and super thin, but they're so pretty. And now we're gonna go see Andres' cousin, Zaida. Zaida. Very cool name. Very cool name. It is 7.30. We just left Andres' cousin's house. Gloria. We had Gloria. a really lovely lunch. We're gonna have a little break and then we're gonna go back out um, with the family for flamenco dancing. And, and eating and drinking. And eating and drinking. So we just finished having a nap. There's Andres still in bed. We're about to meet Andres' family again and we're gonna go watch some flamenco dancing, which I've never seen. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
It's Update. one o'clock in the morning. We just got home. I'm so tired, but we had such a good night. <laughs> the dancing was amazing. It was so good. We need to learn how to do that. And we had some really good beer. We, the, the dancing was incredible. I can't even tell you how amazing it was. Then we went, we walked on the hill, we got some ice cream, and now- Said goodbye to my family. Said goodbye to Andres' family, which was really sad. It's very nice to see them. It is very nice to see them. And tomorrow we leave, so we need to go to bed now, so we can wake up tomorrow and pack. Yeah. Ole. Ole. Good morning. Um, so today is our last day in Spain, or we're, we're leaving today, so we don't even have a day here. All of last night I felt super sick. I'm not sure why, but during the day I just felt like I'd eaten too much and I just wasn't feeling 100%, but I kept eating. And in the night I just wasn't feeling well. So I've woken up still not feeling 100%, which is basically my nightmare, going onto a plane, not feeling well. But um, I think the worst has passed, or I hope the worst has passed. Um, Andres has gone out to buy some sandwiches, and then Andres' cousin, um, Adela, is going to come pick us up, and we're going to go to the airport. Um, so we should be back in London by about 4.30. Wish me luck! <laughs> How typical that the day we leave is the day that the weather comes out. Am I right? We just got home, we're unpacking now. Let's see our suitcase. Granada was so good, I really recommend it for anyone who wants to go. My one piece of advice is to buy your tickets for La Alhambra in advance. And now we're, we're planning our next holiday. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> um, time will tell. Time will tell, so if you like this, this if you like, if this, you like video, this video, what the, should I do? Subscribe. <laughs> and give us a thumbs up. Bye!